And what's up there, YouTube? Stampede Valkyrie coming at you again. Long time coming. Uh, current project bar I'm working on. Uh, Signal Stat uh, Dual Com. There's the tag there. Model 9581 uh, SAAD or SAE date of 75. I uh, even got the serial number in there. As far as actually surprisingly clean, even though I did some cleaning to it. Uh, I've been playing around with some wiring gremlins. I've talked to some other people about this already. Uh, one of the wiring gremlins I had had to deal with the way this, this flasher is wired up. And now I know this isn't right. There's supposed to be a power cable coming in here. But I'm using it as a holder for a flasher. So I figured I'd replace the flasher. Flasher's now working. The line coming in, this is one of those 70s, like, multi-plug. I've seen these on other lights before. So this is a quick disconnect. And instead of me ripping it out like I normally do, I figured if it was still in sh good shape, I'd use it. So I'm using it. Um, this rotator I had to clean up. I had a little bit of some gremlins to it. I picked up two rotators recently. Uh, they were supposed to be new old stock. Um, I believe they are new old stock, but with age, I think there's some issues. And I'll talk about the issue with the other one. But this one's working now. Clean this one up. This one works. A uh, quick preview of it before I actually turn it on here. Give me a second. There we go. Before it makes a liar out of me. Obviously, I've got one rotator that works pretty solidly and two flashing lights. Let me zoom in on this. Um, it's working. In the background, if you can see my finger going, that is actually a, a donor bar. I have another one there. I actually have two of these in the back row. One of them here, but I had another one of these in the background that I was working on the scrounge parts for to get this guy working. This guy's working minus the right, on in this video, the right rotator. Now, the issue with the rotator is, there will be a moment, it doesn't stay stably running. Uh, it runs, and then it'll stop, and then it'll start, and if you nudge it a little bit, it'll start again. So I thought it was an issue with a short or possibly a grounding issue. So I unmounted the light from the bar, and we're going to come over here now. And this is the rotator in question. Um, a little background on this. This is a... I don't think this is a first generation. This might actually no. I think this is a first generation uh, signal stat rotator. Yankee bars used this very similar design to this. Um, you can actually see the the motor here, right there, uh, where my finger's pointing. And then these are your your hot and your ground for your bulbs on this side, and then the same thing on this side. The problem, however, though, is if I can get in here and zoom it, is this guy. Here it goes. Hold on. Trying to point at it and look through a camera at the same time is not really working, folks. There it is. Um, that is the actual brush. And if I flip this around, that's my problem right there. Uh, I've got a meter on it. I've taken this apart already because you can get this apart if anybody ever needs to do this. Uh, this bolt here on the bottom comes off. Uh, then with a little bit of coaxing, this whole bottom plate will come off. Uh, there is this piece of, like, cardboardish wood I don't know what that is it's pretty fragile you got to be careful uh, that's supposed to protect the brass contact plate that the brush makes contact with but that brush is the problem here I had a meter on that earlier today and I was playing around with it and I noticed that it would just lose connectivity depending on which way you move that brush so there's something wrong with that brush the problem though is that trying to get that off I'm, I'm trying to do it without breaking the light now if you have to take this apart further these four screws, two here and two here, uh, will actually separate. These, this top half and the bottom half will separate off. And it will actually come out with the motor. You'll see the motor come out on one piece and the bottom part just falls out on its own. Uh, but it's that brush that's causing issues for me right now. I figured I'd just give you a quick update. I'm not really posting much on YouTube right now. But that's it. I know people like to look at these lights. So there it is. That's the guts of one, what one looks like. This, If I could fix this brush, this will work. And I'm going to reach out to the guy that I bought these from and see if, what he can do or what I can do with these. Um, like Again, if I can find another brush, then by all means, uh, I think I can bring this back. Uh, but looking back over, I don't know if this is a signal stat bar. I just figured I'd show it. But this, this is one of my, my junker bars. I probably could steal the brush out of here, but here's also a good example of this is a later generation lamp holder versus the first gens, which are completely and completely sealed up. So here's another thing actually to look at. Just an FYI, if anybody ever gets one of these. So those gears, the nylon gears at the top there that I'm looking at, like hard for me to point at. Let me see if I can get my finger back there. Doing this with one hand is such a fun thing to do. Ah, right there. Those gears. 
put some grease on those gears. Uh, these gears weren't greased. I would put a little bit of just like you would on any other other gear, some sort of uh, synthetic be or like silicon based grease. Anything it doesn't need to be high temp, but it's not because it's not high temp. But put some grease on, probably save you a headache. But these motors or these lamps were known to overheat and bake the motor. And when that happened, because there's no ventilation in here, um, it would bake the motor and these were known to fail. Uh, the bad thing is this still works. Uh, or I mean, the good thing is this still works. The bad thing is that is what failed, not the motor or is failing. But anyway, that's it. Keep this guy short, five minutes. Uh, hopefully your weekend's doing pretty well. It's beautiful weather, especially for late September. And uh, hopefully all is well with, uh, on your end of the world. Have a good weekend, YouTube. What's left of it?